Today our topic is uh, use the daily life problem with the help of uh, sets. How to solve the set with the help of uh, a Venn diagram, such type of problem which our daily life because lot of the students or most of the students are asking to me so how to use the mathematics in our daily life. Okay, the question is that uh, who will read that? Yes. Okay. It means that like there is a class, total strength of the class is 30 students. So first of all, I will write the data is here, like total how much? Total 30. Algebra how many like? Algebra like 20 students. Algebra and geometry mean not only one. Algebra and geometry. Algebra and geometry. 15. First of all, we have to make a Venn diagram. We make a rectangles like a universal set. There are two sets. One set is having a algebra and second is the geometry. Is both have some common? So it means the set is having overlapping. This set is showing algebra. Algebra and this set showing geometry. Okay, how many like both? 15. So I will write here 15. Now I am asking to you total students like algebra 20. 15 are those which is having algebra and geometry. How many should write here? 5. 5. Why? Because the total students like algebra they are 20. He said total students which like algebra they are 20. So 15 plus 5. 20. Now he said that how many students like the geometry. Now total students which is having algebra and geometry is like this one. How many students like in geometry? 15. Only geometry. How many students like only geometry? How many total? 30. How many we use that? Till how many students we used? 20. How many remaining? 10, 10. So 10, they are good in geometry. Now, aapke paas, there are three types of the questions that he can raise. He said, how many students like uh, in geometry? Geometry ko like karne wale kitne hai? No. Yes. 10 or ye 15, so geometry mein achche hai na? Yes. So 15 plus 10? 25. 25 students are those which is like in geometry. 20 students are those which is good in algebra. 15 are good in algebra and geometry. I repeat that one. If asking about algebra, how many total good in algebra? This set is complete algebra. How many good in algebra? 15 plus 5, 20. How many good in geometry? 25. How many good in algebra and geometry? 15 like that. Understand? Yes. So here he asking about that one. Also find how many students like in geometry. So in geometry you will add these both. Add these both. Then we will get the answer 15. So please write this one. Sorry uh, 25. 15 plus 10. That is equal to 25. Then we will go to the next question. Now in question number four, in a street with 50 houses, it means that there is like a colony or a street total houses is a 50, 25 houses have a lawn. First of all, write the data, total houses, how much that one? Fifty. Okay. Houses have lawn. Thirty-five. 
लान एंड कार पोर्च विद दिस डेटा वी हैव टू मेक द डायग्राम इंशाल्लाह यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपर्ली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कार पोर्च एंड लान हैव सम हाउसेस इट मींस दैट देयर इज सम कॉमन पोर्शन व्हेन वी हैव टू मेक द कॉमन पोर्शन देन दिस पोर्शन इज हैविंग ओनली लान and this portion is having car porch i am mentioned this one is lawn okay sorry and porch garage how many houses both car porch and lawn so 15 where should write this place in center center ab thoda sa attention ko aap dekhna hai ki total lawn wale houses kitne the 25, 25 ये लॉन ही है ना yes. 25 में से हाउ मेनी हाउसेस वी कैन रेट राइट हियर 15 हाउ मच रिमेनिंग 10 व्हाट शुड राइट हियर 10 आर यू एग्री 25 हाउसेस लॉन वाले पूरे हो गए नाउ कम ऑन द कार पोर्च हाउ मेनी हाउसेस ऑफ द कार पोर्च 32 हाउ मेनी हाउसेस वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिटन 15 हाउ मेनी दिस वन Seventeen. How many this one? Seventeen. Is that clear? Yes. But if there is third twenty-five, twenty-five plus seventeen. How much that? Twenty-five plus seventeen. Ten plus fifteen. Twenty-five. Twenty-five plus seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty-five plus ten thirty-seven. But seventeen. Forty-two. Alhamdulillah. How many houses are remaining which is not having lawn and porch? Total, how many houses? How many houses are in here? How much remaining? Eight. So eight we will write outside the lawn and car porch. Eight houses वो हैं जिनके साथ ना car porch है ना lawn है. Again repeat that word. These houses are which one? Lawn. Twenty-five. and these houses having porch that is a 32 15 is the common so write one here or here so total when you add these houses that is a 42 but how many houses in a street 50 so the remaining houses right outside the car porch and lawn 8 question pe aaye ab ab wo question kya puchta hai also find how many houses have neither lawn and nor porch how many 8 अंडरस्टैंड अब वेन डायग्राम की हेल्प से हमें पता चल गया कि एट हाउसेस ऐसे हैं जिनके ना तो कार पोर्च है ना लॉन है इज दट क्लियर पहले हमने जो सेंटर में होता है जो कॉमन होता है पहले वो लिखे ओके देन दिस पोर्शन और दिस नंबर माइनस फ्रॉम द लॉन इफ यू आर राइटिंग लॉन देन राइट दिस वन यानी टोटल में से ये नंबर माइनस कर दें कार पोर्च अगर ये वाला पोर्शन है देन दिस नंबर माइनस फ्रॉम हेयर मीन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस 15. What is remaining? 10. So 10 is here. Again, because this is common. 32 minus 15. So we will write 17 here. Okay. These are the houses, all houses which are having lawn and car porch. But the total houses, how much that one? 50. So subtract all these numbers from a 50, then we will get the eight. Then eight houses are having no, no neither lawn nor car porch. Is that clear? फिनिश हो गया इसमें और क्वेश्चन मजीद बन नहीं पा रहा कि बनाऊं बिकॉज इफ आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट हाउ मेनी हाउसेस ऑफ द लॉन इट इज ऑलरेडी गिवन 25 ओके राइट दिस वन पोर्च
How many houses? Neither lawn nor porch. So here, what you will do that? How many houses total? 50. First of all, we will write 50. Okay? 50. How many houses that one having lawn? 25. So here, if you are writing 25, up to you. Otherwise, you will write here minus 10, minus 15, and minus 17. All these three values, you will subtract from the total. Then you will get the answer is equal to 8 houses having nor lawn, neither uh, car porch. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Safa, read this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many children were found out of school? Means that total students in a survey, there are 940. First of all, I will write the total as we write before the data total students. Four hundred students were studying in primary. What mean primary? Do you know that you are also in a school? So, what is the meaning of primary? Primary means the students which are studying are grade five till grade five. So that is the primary. Four hundred students are in primary and two two forty students are in elementary. Elementary mean. Kg. Elementary mean no elementary mean up to grade eight. Okay, yes. elementary and then one seventy five students in elementary and how many in secondary? No, I am writing data correct. No, two forty students in elementary. I am writing wrong. Two forty students. That two forty students are in elementary. And secondary, secondary mean no ten. Secondary mean grade ten, and then like this school is like higher secondary that is eleven twelve. Okay, secondary mean nine ten, higher secondary eleven twelve. So these are the students. First of all, total students how many studying here? Check that one. No, here, if I will add all these students, how much that? 5, 7 plus 4, 11 and 7 or 8? 815 students are studying in different groups. So how many students are outside the school? How many? What do you say? How to find? 940 minus 8 because he said how many children were found out of school because total students are 940 so what you will do that for this 940 minus 850 125 students are out of the school and here how to make the diagram <coughs> because there is no common portion there is no common portion that is a universal set this one is P for primary and E for elementary and S for secondary because there is no common in any portion. So in primary how much that one? 400 and elementary 240 and and the remaining one that you said 125 is out of the school. Hope you understand. Yes. Now here is no common elementary and primary are elementary like that. That's why we just write separate, separate and then that is the final answer. Is it clear? So please write this one.